Hey guys, welcome to the New Ones. I'm Ian, and we're back with more Obi Wan Kenobi, and the finale actually. In the last episode, um, we kind of, sort of, maybe leaked the fact that Luke, well, they didn't say the name. He said the name is related to Leia, I think, to um, Reva. Uh, I don't know what she's gonna plan, what she's planning to do with the information, but uh. She is left. She was left on on uh, on the planet it was called already. Uh, after Vader just ran her through, they they knew she wasn't gonna die. They just kind of left her there to just kind of suffer. Obi Wan and Leia and the others got away. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna end with him. Uh, maybe not end, but like the episode early on will be him delivering her or uh, bringing her back to Alderaan, giving her to her father. If he's still there, if, if he hasn't gone to Tatooine to like watch over Owen and Luke, um, and I, I have to assume there's gonna be one more showdown between Obi Wan and Anakin, with it a little more even. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe he'll start to get a better footing during the fight. But I don't know. I just know I, I, I'm pretty sure. Well, not pretty sure. At the very least, this was meant to be like you know as a movie, so it's like one season kind of thing that they had planned they might do second another season kind of hoping because it'd be really cool to see you mcgregor and and i don't know if they could do an, like a darth vader thing still but at least you mcgregor in this that'd be interesting to see so i don't know we'll see how this finale goes and um i really hope we get another obi-wan and anakin fight i have something for you broken found it before we got out she would have wanted you to have it. It's empty. Well, I wasn't going to give you a blaster layer. You're ten years old. <laughs> but you won't always be. Follow Kenobi. Once more, Vader. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> Alright, maybe listen. Are you gonna help him, or what's the what's the what's the call here? She's here. Okay. It's time. I know they're not gonna die. All right. Unless she replaces them with clones. There he is, just waiting for him. Have you come to destroy me, Obi-Wan? I will do what I must. Then you will die. Not bad, not bad. That I can like glance against the pillars because it's so tight. He's a lot be doing a lot better than the last time. Your strength has returned. Let feel. But the weakness still remains. <laughs> Again, I know he doesn't die, but like... Oh, cheap shot. And that is why you will always lose. Oh, the line. Did 
did you truly think that you could defeat me? You have failed, Master. You really love the boy. Like he's your own. He is my own. Well, technically, he is. What do you want? Oh, nice! Oh, oh. <laughs> Bad if he accidentally hits himself in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. Same way, I will destroy you. Then my friend is truly dead. Goodbye, Darth. every system within range. We will destroy everything in our path until he is found. You seem agitated, my friend. Perhaps your feelings for your old master 
have left you weakened. If your past cannot be overcome, Kenobi means nothing. I serve only you, my master. Her little hands. She is she ten? <laughs> she just doesn't. I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> That there were many ways to lead. Looks like I was right. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to want to change a few things. Then we'll change things together. So who is it today? More cousins? Not exactly. Mulan. Lola, I had to bring her back. Lola! <laughs> Who am I to separate a young lady from her droid? Princess Leia Organa. You are wise, discerning, kind-hearted. These are qualities that came from your mother. But you're also passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Both were exceptional people who bore an exceptional daughter. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Princess. <laughs> May the Force be with you. Oh, wow. Why? <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Hello there. Silly things <laughs> that we enjoy the most. Master Qui Gon. Well, it took you long enough. Beginning to think you'd never come. I was always here, Obi-Wan. You just were not ready to see you. Come on. You've got a ways to go. <laughs> yeah! That's all I needed! Ah, oh, last little tidbit is all I needed. <laughs> oh my god. Back in last episode. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, my nose would be a running. So much tearing up and crying. Oh, finally. <laughs> Great in the outfits, though. <laughs> I mean, seen Liam Neeson in recent stuff, or at least recent interviews, I think. What was the last thing I've seen him in? I don't know. <laughs> um, but still, it's good. I mean, Qui Gon was already kind of old whenever he came in, so. And the whole transparency thing, you know, being a Force Ghost helps out <laughs> with uh, 
looking too old, maybe, I guess. I don't know. I think Liam Neeson still looks pretty good for his age. Ugh. I was wondering, I wasn't sure if like maybe they had got hit, got like a, a a scene he had done in in episode one and just kind of rotored him into that into that scene, but no, that was definitely new stuff. <laughs> um, he did look a little different than he did in the in episode one, like the hair, the wig, whatever they were using looks much different. Not much different, but you can tell there's a difference. Um, I, like, I could be wrong on that. Maybe I'm just you know, talking on my butt, but I feel like that was a very different, or a slightly different wig. God, I'm so glad we got, so many things in the last freaking episode, and in the last few minutes of just, like, some fan service stuff, like, the hello there, and then, of course, the Qui-Gon Force goes finally, after six freaking episodes of them kind of teasing it, obviously not throughout the whole of the, of the episodes, not the whole series, they had it throughout a couple episodes where he was, like, trying to reach out to Qui-Gon, but... And then even in this one, he was, I thought that maybe Qui-Gon was going to, like, you know, there was going to be a whisper, at least, whenever he was telling, he was saying, I got to, uh, I got to go, you know, meet him. Either one of us has to die. You know, one of us has to die. I thought maybe he was going to show up there, but then kind of, I don't know, definitely, after a little bit, after he had said that, I was like, maybe not. And then when, like, all, when, like, those, like, all the rocks were, like, on top of him, it kind of felt like maybe there was going to be one there. Um... But I think it was him just finding his purpose again, or his like a new purpose. Um, that kind of gave him strength. And then, oh, the scene of him like fighting Vader and just like you've gotten your strength back. That that was that like realization was like like really cool for him, or just like that he had realized it's like you were you have your strength back. Fine, hearing that was just like yes, he's back, baby. But then it's like but you're still the weakness is still with you. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, crap. I think he like he wanted that too. Like he almost like it was uh, not as satisfying when the way he had fought him before. Like he was backpedaling the whole time in the last fight. You know, he was just kind of trying to survive. This one, he was on the offense a good majority of the time, and even got you know kind of got him uh, off center a bit. Off got Vader off center, um, and then you know in the end. He, he, thrashed him a bit, you know, <laughs> he was still able to beat him, like, it was, I feel like it was even more so than the, in the last, I mean, granted, now he has a little more of a weakness, like, he's also, he's a bit stronger because of his mechanical parts, but also more vulnerable because attacking that thing is, like, uh, like his breathing apparatus, so at least it was part of it, what kind of runs it, you know, take that away or at the very least damage it, you know, it's going to weaken him, <laughs> he's going to have some trouble breathing, trouble keeping up the pace, um, definitely wasn't as sturdy after a while. It was just kind of like going wild with the strikes, and then at the, like after he had damaged enough and kind of went for the wild strike, we want to just kind of slash him across the back, which I mean thought would have gone a little deeper. Maybe that stuff, maybe his cloak is more than just a cloak. Maybe it protects him a little bit. You know, I don't know. It had cut through enough to where it didn't cut the cape off. So, um, but he felt it, maybe, or at the very least he felt like the force of it hit him. That fight, like, the, like even in the beginning, like, he was a little bit, Obi-Wan was still a little kind of getting his foot, but, his footing, but, uh, like, the, even that part of the fight, that portion of it was still really, well, like, way better than how, like, the whole fight in the, in the first encounter. I'm so glad that, like, we, there's no way we weren't going to have, an, like, a, a last encounter between the two in the series. Um, I'm glad we did, and I'm glad that it ended with Obi-Wan not necessarily, like, how, you know, faking his death so that he thinks he's dead again. But him actually, like, Obi-Wan actually beating Vader. And that, oh, the whole... First of all, that flying strike was awesome. Even though I know it was very simple and, like, you know, not, like, wholly, like, eloquent, elegant. Wasn't super skillful looking, I guess, maybe. But, I don't know, it was just a really cool moment. It was just the whole, his whole swirling thing, doing his whole, you know, that he usually does. His getting back into the flow of things was just great. Um... But yeah, like, the moment where he cuts off part of his helmet, part of his mask, it's just like, that whole scene with them together, and you could, you know, hear Hayden finally, like, well, we, you know, we saw, heard him in the flashback, but like, hearing Vader Hayden without the, partially without the, you know, voice modulator, and also, oh god, 
sorry, the way they did everything in that scene, that moment, I felt was fantastic. Like, when I heard where he says, I wasn't your failure, Obi-Wan, and it was like going from Anakin and then to Vader, where like, the, I know that like, it was an obvious thing, but it was just, it's so cool. <laughs> like, they, they don't have to be subtle here. Like, we know what lies here. We know what everything that's underlying. But like, feeling that was so good. And it was just so heart-wrenching, especially whenever he cut, after, like when he had first cut it off, and you could see like Obi-Wan finally seeing Anakin, like seeing him for the first time in 10 years. And seeing the damage he had actually done to him, how like what a pain he put him through, like he just felt, and the fact that you know, just really, you know, not realizing, but like really seeing and having to um, face in his eyes like his failure, and that was that just kind of broke him. You know, he apologized and like heartfully told Anakin he was sorry for what what he had done, what had happened. And you, it kind of seemed like for a moment it was reaching Anakin in a way. It was almost, but he's just, he's just filled with so much anger and hate. And the dark side, how it like amplifies that. <clears throat> um, and being under Palpatine's thumb, or uh, Sidious's thumb for so long, the manipulation just... It's so deeply buried in Vader now, um, but like the when it, they were, like they have that moment of where he was talking to him and apologizing to him, Obi Wan's light, you know, on Anakin's and just kind of showing the sort of like what's what he wants to be there or like what he sees, what he remembers his friend to be, and then him when Anakin goes, "I am not your failure." You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did, and then the red, the red lightsaber light is seen on his face afterwards, and it's just like that's the transition, like for Obi Wan, not necessarily like kind of for us. I and mean, we know who it is, and we know like what he like stands for, but like it's the full realization of like acceptance for Obi Wan. Um. This is no longer Anakin. This is Vader. I mean, even like he, the, the, I know he's called him it before, but even he's called him Vader before. Like earlier, like whenever uh, they showed up on Jabin, I think his place is called, and he, he was telling that Vader's impatient. You know, he's not much of a, you know, siege person. I forget what he said, <laughs> but like he was when he was talking to him before, he was calling him Anakin. You know, apologizing to Anakin, and then when he's you know, turning his back to him, he's you know. I think mean, like farewell Darth or farewell, farewell Vader or something like that. I don't I don't know exactly how he said bye, but you know basically bye Vader like the death of Anakin Skywalker, Skywalker. and and then it's just kind of like a like looking back at episode four of uh, the um, the New Hope when Anakin is telling Luke or not sorry Obi Wan's telling Luke that. Darth Vader killed your father, you know, and then even in episode 6, where he, no, was it, yeah, it was episode 6, Anakin Skywalker, you know, ceased to exist, um, just that whole, like, kind of, not hinting at, but, you know, calling back to that, I feel like, or it's just saying, you know, he's dead, you are now Vader, no longer Anakin, you know, all things considered, Owen did a great job, <laughs> I went in Peru, you know, not for Jesus at all. Uh, they're farmers. I mean, they, you know, I'm, all of the farmers on Tatooine will have to have, have to have dealt with, you know, Tusken Raiders, so they have some kind of possible experience. And I mean, Owen went with with uh, his dad to try to save Anakin's mom. Um, so he's had experience fighting Tuskens. It's not like it's his first time using a gun um, or fighting, but it's just still like you're going against somebody who, you know, has these abilities in a laser sword. <laughs> um, but to protect Luke, he will do just that, and he did a, you know, fairly decent job. All these considered, like she could have used the force a lot more than she did, but I mean, she's also weak right now. She's been stabbed through, um, so you know, made a little bit more, not even, but you know, not as overwhelming. 
And he even went for the wound. Like, he grabbed, he dug into that wound. Like, he noticed it, I guess, like, when he hit her. And she kind of, like, you know, screamed and buckled a bit. And he's like, oh, okay, she's holding, you know, I'm going to go for this. Because this is my best case of one, surviving and or, you know, at the very least, saving Luke or buying him time to get away. So, I just thought they both did really well. And she's awesome. <laughs> this is, uh, just, like, not putting anybody else in danger. We knew it would, you know that something would happen so here we're, here's two guns we're going at it and she you know did what she could she's just a brave woman but man I just <laughs> I could have been a, I mean we knew they weren't going to die because you know they're still alive until the day <laughs> oh man that was kind of rough where you know Obi-Wan is telling Owen look after him take care of him and Owen that I will just kind of like ugh to like, the, the, I, I, I don't, they unfortunately don't show it, not unfortunately, but like, we don't see how, like, the stormtroopers, um, if they just immediately killed uh, Owen and Peru, they might have. Um, but I don't know if they, like, maybe interrogated looking for the, the droids, maybe they did, and they didn't give up. The location or like any like anything that would lead to Luke they you know obviously they probably said nothing considering he stood up to uh, an inquisitor earlier on with like the lightsaber at nearly at his at his throat and even fought against her so I mean they're brave brave and strong people so <clears throat> So I'm wondering if they're gonna we're gonna see any kind of touch on Rava's story in some other Star Wars franchise, like if maybe in Mandalorian season three, if something's going on there. Well, no, this would be maybe they they could have hired an older actress to be an older Rava, maybe I don't know, because um, this is supposed to be well actually I'm trying to remember now this would have this was yeah of course duh it's after the whole thing I've got this bleh, my brain because the, the Mandalorian's after Fall of the Empire, or the release, you know, the crippling of him. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure what, if that's like a... Because I haven't heard any news there's any kind of plans of doing something with her character or maybe making a spin-off for her character. I don't know. And I feel like they wouldn't... That's not something that they have in the works. I don't know. Like... I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something that they... Put a lot of work into for this character who we don't really know. Granted, Mandalorian was a new character, or, you know, for the Mandalorian, the Mando character was supposed to, was a completely new character we knew nothing about, but it was still cool. We had, there was the whole, you know, he's a Mandalorian that was kind of working for him, and he's just a bounty hunter and cool. I mean, I guess maybe following an Inquisitor, or at least an ex Inquisitor now, would be an interesting story. I don't know. I'm just curious as to what. If that's leading to anything. It was interesting, interesting that we saw Sidious. Wasn't kind of expecting to see him. I mean, maybe I, sh I probably should have. Definitely looks different. Um, I mean, Ian McKellen. Not McKellen, Jesus. Ian, um, shoot. Palpatine's actor. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, obviously he's aged. But it, it also didn't use the same amount of, like, makeup on him or, um, prosthetics on his face uh, they did it in episode uh, 6 or 3 um, and it was a lot more a lot more like frail or gone you know it kind of seemed almost like he was falling asleep um, but it was in interesting that we saw him and that you know it was kind of an air of oh I, 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 sorry I just got real mad <laughs> just the manipulation still like even obviously we see it in episode six too, but like the manipulation, still like seeing it so still so deep, his his claws deep in the in the freaking God, I hate him so much. I mean he's a great, he's a very intelligent and great villain, but I hate him, I hate him. There's so many teared up, tearing, so many moments, so many moments of tears. I don't know why I had so much issue saying anything in that regard like uh, any, all, the moments with Obi-Wan and Leia were just really heartwarming and, and sad <laughs> in certain instances but like when he when he's 
pitches them on. Um, shoot. Alderaan. Sorry. When he visits them, tells her of her parents and like the the strengths and just like the the traits that she has of both of her parents. It's both it's it's heartwarming and heartbreaking. And you can't say who it is, you know, and how much that means to Obi Wan and like remembering those parts of Anakin bringing up uh, Padme, being able to give that to Leia, man, and then then to may the force be with you. Like, come on, you can't just do that. <laughs> That's cheating. And it's so, I love the way like how. The, his progress in this and kind of seeing his lead up to sort of being and how he is in New Hope at least not as not broken as he was in the beginning of this and then by the end of it he's you know when it, first when when a <clears throat> Organa when a Bale reached out to him he's like you know I'm not the same I used to be you should reach out to somebody else should should be better off now he's you know confidently confidently coming to to visit them. Telling you know, telling Bale that if you ever need me, you know, you know where I am. It's like, man, it's it's so cool seeing him kind of pick himself back up with the help of Leia. <laughs> That's so. <sighs> and of course, they had to sort of even nod to a new hope and what what's going to happen there. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I think. It's all I got, man. I'm just so exhausted <laughs> from all of what was happening. God, what a finale. Jesus. I, I Again, I personally really enjoyed the show. There were some weird moments, but like I thought they were just funny <laughs> and just ridiculous. Like Again, the whole trench coat thing. What? <laughs> how do you guys... It's like they're really like just poking fun at how sometimes imbecilic the Empire can be. <laughs> that that passed. Um... But yeah, uh, that's it for this uh, this series, I think, unless they decide to go for another season. Uh, but if you want to stick around for any other stuff we got going on, we're getting, we're getting back on the Clone Wars. Uh, if you want to stick around to see that, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Patreon for early access for stuff like Clone Wars and hopefully other stuff soon. Um, really working on getting that back up. Really enjoyed this series again, guys. Thank you for staying with us, or with me. And I uh, hope to see you some other time.